All right, I am working on a 2005 Range Rover LR3, and we have a seat that was not going up and down on the driver's side. Now, apology for the mess. I've drug out a lot of tools to try to figure this out. And we already ordered a new seat switch for the driver's side, and then I took it apart and discovered that there was still power to the wiring harness which this is the motor for the up and down of the seat. Um, it controls just what it sounds like, up and down motion of the seat. Raise or lower, not forward, not back, not tilt, but up and down. So I had power to these leads right here. Um, used a good old fashioned test light and uh, hook ground up to it. And when I hit the switch, which this is the switchboard, it's kind of hard to see here, but this one controls forward and back. This one in the middle controls up and down, and this one controls the tilt. So anyway, um, this one here did not have um, any functionality. However, when I put a test light on it, the leads to here. I did have um, positive power to it. So it wasn't a matter, is, a, is it getting signal? So then I decided, well, I need to try to eliminate the possibility of the switch. So I decided to take the leads off of the part of the switch that controls, let's see here, the one that controls the tilt. I disconnected it from the motor underneath the seat. I don't even think I could show you because it's really tight back underneath there. But I disconnected that motor and then pulled the line through. And it is this guy. So right here, this plug connects to the motor underneath the seat that controls the tilt. So since that switch right here is still good and, and the tilt still worked, I wanted to be able to use that switch to move the seat up and down. So I formed some pigtails, as you can see here. This is positive and this is negative, even though they're the same color. And ran them from that pigtail that runs underneath the seat, run my, um, my new leads, and spliced into the seat motor harness here that controls up and down. And wouldn't you know it, I'll give it a shot here. Sorry, I'm using both hands, one for camera and one to hold everything. So this is normally the tilt switch, but since I reversed it, or I should say repurposed it to work on this up and down motor, watch. We've got up motion. Go the other way with the switch. Let me move my hands here. Oh, I disconnected my leads. Just a second. Okay, try that again. There's up motion, and now we don't have down again. Oh, there it's going down. So that tells me that the switches themselves probably function okay. The problem is in this electronic board, and I'm beginning to see that. Range Rover doesn't exactly build the best electronic boards. So there must be a problem within the board itself, but the switches seem to be okay. Um, but even so, this, this up and down motion of this seat, which I'll back off so you can kind of see, it's moving upward. And now it's coming back down. So either way, the borrowed switch from the tilt actually was able to move the motor uh, that controls the up and down motion. So I'm going to put it back down in the farthest position down because that's where we need it right now. And then we have a new board with switches already on order to replace this whole unit. Um, the motor checks out is fine. Uh, so... 
before you start worrying about motor um, and, and a lot of there's no fuses or anything that there's going to be an issue. I have every everything in my findings leads towards this board itself. Um, you cannot replace the switches because they are well. I guess I suppose if you were good at soldering, you could because the switches themselves are soldered through the board to the backside. So you'd have to desolder the switch and then put a new switch in. But I have not seen these for sale independently, so you'd end up having to just buy the whole board. Um, usually, whatever I've seen, one for sale, salvage or eBay or whatever, you're going to get the entire board with all the pigtails and everything um, in this housing here that actually goes into the side of the seat cover. So either way, guys, if you start having issues with up and down or maybe the tilt or maybe the forward and back, um, chances are it's probably the circuit board, not necessarily the switch, because once we borrowed a pigtail from something else um, and ran it to another switch, then I was able to control that motor that I was having problems with. So, anywho, again, this is a 2005 uh, Land Rover LR3. Um, if it matters, it's a V8 version with an automatic, so non-diesel here, but I doubt I doubt it matters. I'm sure that all models probably have the same at seat electronics and probably between US or uh, the European British version. So there you have it, guys. That's um, my DIY diagnostic work for seat electronics. Thank you.